Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Wednesday the 25th of November. Today we commemorate the lives of Catherine of Alexandria, who was a martyr that died in the 4th century, and Isaac Watts, a hymn writer who died in 1748. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence which the saints enjoy surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city, where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul, how I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God, with the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? For put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Our readings begin with Psalm 110. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. May the Lord stretch forth the scepter of your power, rule from Zion in the midst of your enemies. Noble are you on this day of your birth, on the, high, on the holy mountain, from the womb of the dawn, the dew of your new birth is upon you. The Lord has sworn and will not retract. You are a priest for ever after the order of Melchizedek. The king at your right hand, O Lord, shall smite down kings in the day of his wrath. In all his majesty he shall judge among the nations, smiting heads over all the wide earth. He shall drink from the brook beside the way. Therefore shall he lift high his head. Lord Jesus, divine Son and eternal priest, Inspire us with the confidence of your final conquest of evil and grant that daily on our way we may drink of the brook of your eternal life and so find courage against all adversities for your mercy's sake. Psalm 111 Alleluia! I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the faithful and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out by all who delight in them. His work is full of majesty and honour, and his righteousness endures for ever. He appointed a memorial for his marvellous deeds. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He gave food to those who feared him. He is ever mindful of his covenant. He showed his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are truth and justice, all his commandments are sure. They stand fast for ever and ever. They are done in truth and equity. He sent redemption to his people. He commanded his covenant for ever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have those who live by it. His praise endures for ever. 
gracious God, you are full of compassion. May we who long for your kingdom to come rejoice to do your will and acknowledge your power alone to save, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And Psalm 112. Alleluia! Blessed are those who fear the Lord and have great delight in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land, the generation of the faithful that will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in their house, and their righteousness endures for ever. Light shines in the darkness for the upright. Gracious and full of compassion are the righteous. It goes well with those who are gracious in lending, and order their affairs with justice, for they will never be shaken. The righteous will be held in everlasting remembrance. They will not be afraid of any evil tidings. Their heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their heart is sustained and will not fear until they see the downfall of their foes. They have given freely to the poor. Their righteousness stands fast forever. Their head will be exalted with honour. The wicked shall see it and be angry. They shall gnash their teeth in despair. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Generous God, save us from the meanness that calculates its interest and hoards its earthly gain. As we have freely received, so may we freely give from the grace of Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And our Old Testament reading comes from the book of Isaiah, the 40th chapter, beginning at the 27th verse. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Listen to me in silence, O coastlands. Let the peoples renew their strength. Let them approach, then let them speak. Let us together draw near, near for judgment. Who has roused a victor from the east, summoned him to his service? He delivers up nations to him and tramples kings underfoot. He makes them like dust with his sword, like driven stubble with his bow. He pursues them and passes on safely, scarcely touching the path with his feet. Who has performed and done this, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, am first, and will be the last. The coastlines have seen and are afraid. The ends of the earth tremble. They have drawn near and come. Each one helps the other saying to one another, take courage. The artisan encourages the goldsmith. The one who smooths with the hammer encourages the one who strikes the anvil, saying of the soldered, it is good, and they fasten it with nails so that it cannot be moved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. New Testament reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 16, from the first verse. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple telling the seven angels, Go and pour out on the earth the seven bowls of the wrath of God. So the first angel went and poured his bowl on the earth, and a foul and painful sore came on those who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped its image. The second angel poured his bowl into the sea, and it became like the blood of a corpse, and every living thing in the sea died. The third angel poured his bowl into the rivers and the springs of water, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters say, You are just, O Holy One, who are and were, for you have judged these things, because they shed the blood of the saints and the prophets, and you have given them blood to drink. It is what they deserve. And I heard the altar respond, O oh yes, O oh Lord God, the Almighty, your judgments are true and just. The fourth angel poured his bowl on the sun, and it was allowed to scorch people with fire. They were scorched by the fierce heat, but they cursed the name of God who had authority over these plagues, and they did not repent and give him glory. The fifth angel poured his bowl on the throne of the beast, and its kingdom was plunged into darkness. People gnawed their tongues in agony and cursed the God of heaven because of their pains and sores, and they did not repent of their deeds. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The Benedictus. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who's come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Let us pray. And we pray for the saints on earth, that they may live as citizens of heaven. For all people, that they may hear and believe the word of God. All who fear the winter months. All sovereigns and political leaders, that they may Im imitate the righteous rule of Christ. And all who grieve or wait with the dying. Surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us make a prayer in the power of the Spirit, looking to Jesus, the pioneer of our faith. That with the noble fellowship of the prophets, we may discern the signs of your kingdom in our midst. 
we pray to you, O Lord. That with the glorious company of the Apostles we may proclaim your gospel throughout the world, we pray to you, O Lord. That with the white-robed army of martyrs we may be ready to suffer for the truth's sake, we pray to you, O Lord. That with all who are anointed by your Spirit we may bring good news to the poor and freedom to the oppressed, we pray to you, O Lord. That with the saints in light we may bind up the broken-hearted and comfort all who mourn, we pray to you, O Lord. That within the whole company of Christ's pilgrim people we may come to the inheritance of the saints in glory, we pray to you, O Lord. And in communion with all the saints, let us commend the world to the mercy and protection of God in a few moments of silence. And the collect for today. Eternal Father, whose Son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King. Keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May Christ, who's opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I thank you for joining me this morning for morning prayer. I do hope that each one of you will have a good day today and that you'll join me again tomorrow. Goodbye.